drowsy. Wild Count is a broad scale, long term fauna monitoring project. We take out the cameras and strap them to a support. Um, we use a small lure of peanut butter and oats and the camera is focused on that and uh, anything that walks in front of that would trigger the camera. Okay. Down here is good. Still rather a bit too low than a bit too high. And we use that information over the long term to look at changes in the uh, distribution of these uh, animals. So it involves 300 odd cameras in 800 sites um, across New South Wales park system, basically east of the divide. It involves uh, teams of people going out into the field with cameras, uh, deploying them in a seasonal window roughly from February to May. Weeds. Uh, we collect bucket loads of information, lots of photos, and we bring them back and we process them, ID the, the, uh, the animals, and we upload them into uh, New South Wales Atlas. So these ones are Bassi and Thrush, um, and I can just highlight the three photos and tag it as a Bassi and Thrush. Yeah. We have tens of thousands of photos uh, every year we've done this. Uh, so what we're finding is that there's a, a lot of swamp wallabies out there, a lot of brush turkeys. Uh, it's too early to make conclusions about the status and trend of these common spe species. That's what this program is really about. It's probably focused around here. Yeah. We're going to need to come over just a little bit and up a little tiny bit. Okay. I guess the great thing about this job is actually being able to look at um, how um, monitoring might feed into the entire organisation and being, being involved in doing all of the project planning and then actually getting out into the national parks that we're supposed to be managing and putting those cameras out, seeing those places and bringing those cameras back in and seeing what we've actually got on those cameras and then being able to see the data build up over time to get a bigger picture of what's going on in the landscape. 33 degrees, 38.882 minutes. So the walk in, it depends on the uh, how easy or difficult depends on how close there's road access and um, how steep and difficult the terrain is and the vegetation of course. Some sites in lower rainfall areas are, are quite easy walking and others are really quite difficult. Well one of the things we uh, found quite fascinating was uh, we put on, on film a live bird attacking a snake uh, that was a pretty interesting um, set of images, there's only three or four images, that was, uh, was pretty cool. Um, we've seen some beautiful uh, shots of uh, joeys and mums, uh, swamp wallabies and, and kangaroos, um, in interaction right before our eyes. See lots of scoundrel uh, possums um, attacking our lure and attacking the cameras, lots of whisker shots. And we've seen some other interactions like woolly wagtails perched on the back of kangaroos. It's more up here. Too, too high or too low? It's really easy to engage people in this because it's exciting. They love to see an animal in their habitat at night, during the daytime, unusual interactions. It's fantastic stuff and we can certainly learn from that experience. Syndicating content out is, is the future.